Hi, I'm Brianna Stewart, a senior computer science uh, major concentrating in cybersecurity and graphics and game design, and I'll be graduating this spring, 2023. And I'm Mary Nations. I am also a computer science major with a concentration in cybersecurity, and I'm also a senior graduating this spring. So we are SFS scholars, and SFS stands for Scholarship for Service, and basically you get a scholarship, and then in return you have to work for the government for a couple of years. And I would say the opportunities at Louisiana Tech are very unique because um, not only do we have so many scholarship opportunities, but we're also ABET accredited. And a lot of people recognize that. So I had a job interview for uh, Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma, and the man in Oklahoma recognized, oh, Louisiana Tech, great school. We love hiring people from there. And that's just really great. So for my internship, I uh, worked at the Advanced Course in Engineering, uh, so the ACE program in uh, Rome, New York over last summer. And basically it incorporated like a wide variety of work, so just cybersecurity topics and then uh, writing uh, technical solutions on those, so like lab reports basically, and then doing leadership sem seminars and like reflecting on the like missions and the values that we saw in the seminars we did a mile running every week that was that was a lot and then um did operations it's basically like a simulated like kinetic battle space and just developed tools and then just did a variety of research uh, weekly so yeah for my summer internship i worked with the navy through the uh, naval information warfare center out of new orleans and i worked as a software engineer and it was kind of crazy and very different from previous internships i've had because they didn't treat me as an intern they treated me as a full-time real employee and i had real work and it was really stressful but i learned a lot and now i'm actually going to work for them whenever i graduate I would say the most important thing is to not use the same passwords for everything, especially for finances. Like don't use the same password for Facebook as you use for your bank account. Um, no matter how much we secure everything or how much technology that we use, the number one source of people getting hacked is from user error. <laughs> And then going along with that, using like an extra layer of security by using like multi-factor factor authentication, using 2FA, like a Google Authenticator or Duo, um, basically just using those apps to kind of add another layer of security will really help out uh, when even when your password is like hacked or your account's hacked. And then um, looking out for phishing emails and spam emails and making sure that when you get an email like your PayPal has been hacked to make sure that it's coming from an app, like the authentic PayPal email. So I participated in the CyberStorm event and to prepare for the event I uh, kind of made sure I understood every aspect of each program that was assigned as they were going to be used in the CyberStorm event and by understanding each part of the program if it was changed or if we need to make changes to the program during the event I'd know which part to change and how to modify my code to help us in the challenge and then uh, in the challenges in the labs inside of CyberStorm like the class uh, I took those seriously and made sure to note any problems that we had as a team and to fix those before uh, we had CyberStorm. And I don't think any computer science education at Tech is complete without having taken CyberStorm. Um, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I would say I mostly prepared by, by writing some bash scripts and I wrote some to automatically uh, de-stag photos with a bunch of different iterations um, just to see which ones would uh, were correct faster and then also for some of the ciphers I wrote some scripts um, just so that I could complete all the challenges as quickly as possible and just automate everything possible um, but yeah it's a really fun experience that I recommend for every computer science student at Tech. I would say all the professors at Louisiana Tech are just very caring. Um, they're always there for you and um, I actually asked Dr. Anki for in a research opportunity. And then as soon as one became available, he recommended me for it, which gave me a lot of experience and helped me to find my current job that I'm going to have after I graduate. So that was definitely helpful. Mm 
makes sense. And then for me, uh, kind of just whenever I had any struggle in like a computer science class or I had a question that I needed to ask, having them having those office hours really helped out by just going to their office and having them explain a topic that was really that I was really struggling with. And then in addition to that, um, having them review my resume, giving me uh, academic like advising tips, and then uh, also providing letters of recommendation. We would like to thank all the Louisiana Tech computer science faculty and staff for helping us uh, in our degree in computer science and helping us along the way. And we would especially like to thank Dr. He Gavin and Ms. Charlotte for extending this scholarship opportunity to us.